Ubisoft. We gotta talk about Ubisoft now. Yo, Yo, Ubisoft, right? Ubisoft, man. I be hard. I'm solid like a rock. Um, (laughs) So this caused some controversy. So in a statement, I believe Ubisoft kind of retracted, or some motherfuckers were saying that, like, oh, you know, their their statement was taken out of context or whatever. So just take that into account. But this is what was said. Apparently, Ubisoft claims that it will like instead of just focusing on like four big franchises a year or whatever you're going to focus more on free to play games you could imagine how that went over on the internet you know motherfuckers including myself was not very happy about that you know so adam you're mr well, they had ubisoft. A good run. yeah adam you're mr ubisoft what do you think about the prospect uh, cuz remember don't take this fully like like a actual statement cuz you know there so there may have been some misreporting or whatever but i could see them friends. doing shit shit like that yeah the friend <laughs> you know so what, do you, what do you think about the prospect that they're making more free to play games well you know I, I did receive an email and you received oh. the email the whole thing about uh we we talking about the the expanding the division universe you know, outside of just the franchise itself and of course we know the show that's coming to Netflix the, there's an animated one there's action and they have other games in the work. And they mentioned that some of them were going to be in that realm of mobile. So it's like, yeah, mobile, then it's going to be free to play. No one charges games besides Nintendo for these things. So I could see that happening. And it would be like right over my head because I don't touch that shit. So I don't care. You know, I just I just know that they're going to stick with the ones that work. Where they're going to stick with Assassin's Creed. They're going to stick with Watch Dogs. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Legion sold for them, but. They're definitely going to stick with Assassin's Creed, with The Division, Rainbow Six. We just got that movie that came out on uh, Prime. So it, it, it's, you know, they, they're, they're doing their thing. It's going in that direction. But, of course, they're probably going to dab out their games to see if anybody bite. And, of course, there are people that are going to go into it. And it just makes sense when you see how many people have these phones and what they're doing with them. And they are playing these damn games. Everyone, like we talked about it before, everyone. Damn, Fortnite's killing it. Now that we're hearing with the app court case and all that, some what was it? Like some X about amount of billions of dollars that one game made. Yeah, that's ridiculous. They you want know? that money. So it, yeah. So yeah, so I could easily see a lot of these like yo. We got to do whatever we can to get a piece of that pie because you know what? Eventually, those people they're gonna get wandering eyes, right? They're gonna be like, oh, I want to see what else is out there. There's got to be something. You got to give them something else. I'm like, yo, look, Apex is. Until they bring those titans, I don't think a lot of people are running over. So why not? Ubisoft throw some shit in the hat, but you know what? I don't care. my my world. I'm not into that. So people are still playing like uh, Apex, though, man. No, no, they are, but it's not on that level. They're not pulling those big numbers like that. And a lot of people, whenever they talk about it, I know that they're gonna have those titans. That's when it's gonna be crazy because that's gonna be like Robo Tech, and it's basically gonna be Titanfall. If we could have the guys jump out into the text and jump out, I might even get into that because I love Titanfall with the mechs. And when they release Apex, and I'm like, okay, I'll wait when the mechs come. There are no mechs. It's been, what, two years? Yeah. Right? Maybe even more than that, and still no mechs. You would have thought at this point, since it was Respawn that did this, that they were like, oh, yeah, guess what? This is coming six months later, even a year later. Still not there, but when it does... It, that has to be awesome because if you think about it, at that point, it is Titanfall. That's Titanfall, and I love the Titanfall multiplayer. We played it. You know that was fun. We get together. And yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. And hijacking and stuff. If they could bring that in, yeah, more people jumping in. There. If not right now, just future Running Man, right? Running hmm. Gun Man. You just climbing on the walls and doing it's like ah oh, yeah, I could do that shit. Another game. And what stood apart was with the mechs. So if they could bring that, but then with Ubisoft. What they want to do, if they what was one of the things they do, maybe the division or Rainbow Six, and do those type of free to play. They also see what's going on with Call of Duty, the Call of Duty mobile game. I, I played it a few times. It's all right, but you know, people that are really into mobile have no issues using it. It seems to be working, and it's doing big numbers. So I'm sure that like we can bring some of our IP. So we'll we'll have to wait and see. And but I, I don't think anybody here is into big mobile games, right? Anybody nah, here play a lot of mobile games? Fuck though? that shit. No. Nope. I don't play that stuff. You know? Why? I, Doesn't everyone have a phone? <laughs> I remember, oh, by the way, so this is what, um, I mean, actually, more people agree with me, but this is what I said on Twitter caused a little bit of controversy. Um, 
because I said these games, these mobile games, they're not actually games. They're just ways for for them to suck money out of you. They're basically just little slot machines yeah. in a, in a in a phone. That's what they basically are. Now, obviously, yeah. I you know I, I should have clarified saying that no games like destiny and apex are actual real games you know they are they're free to play but i'm i'm more thinking about those gotcha they're called gotcha games i'm thinking more yeah. so like I, well, like like genshin impact or um azure lane i'm like these games there is no reason for them to exist other than take you know give us your fucking money you know well the thing is is the cosmetics cosmetics it's is all about money. that yeah that's, mm-hmm. that, that's what saves the division people was like oh yeah well the sales and it's like yeah it wasn't it's tremendous but the people that did get in there just fucking emptied out their pockets on all those bundles oh, i want that outfit i want this i want that you know and then we saw it fortnite that's how they make their money and then now we're also seeing it with the call of duty and, and the whole tier system that they have with the battle passes and all that stuff and it's all the cosmetics and people want that stuff people want the operators and all that and that the next one is going to be not the, there's going to be another Call of Duty World War Two themed run, but then that there's going to be another one that's going to be a free to play model that's just for that, so people can just go in there download. Is it that what Warzone is? Is not that free to play? Warzone, it's it's not it's it's not a standalone. You still had to pay sixty bucks to get it. Gotcha. I thought okay. You know, gotcha. no when they make when they make one that it's like. Oh, free just download you don't need to pay no money this night they're gonna make a killing because then everybody's just gonna, just gonna jump in connect online like we see with fortnite and stuff and then just spend all their money on cosmetics and stuff and little dangly charms and shit for their fucking gun yeah by the way adam just realized something uh hard to see but this is actually a titanfall shirt i got it at uh got it at e3 you know um do you see yeah manny sent me some titanfall pin i got that in my bag over here but mm-hmm. yeah, but so I, I again, Ubisoft kind of walked back their statement. But originally, I was like, "That's a mistake if you're going to do that I'm, shit." Like again, she, I understand the allure of the money because it does bring in a lot of money. But I'm like, really, you're going to make these gotcha games? I don't know, man. Here's, Go ahead. Here's, man. The, here's the thing. Like, I mean, the, for this era, this is the arcade game. Yeah. You know what? Were, what was the chief function of an arcade game? Granted, they had a little bit of story in there, but what were they really? They were quarter Punches. munchers. Yeah, they're literally munches. there to 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 squeeze you. They were hard as they were to squeeze as much money out of you. So this is the same sort of situation. And I think the thing that that essentially w- what we see in it is essentially the 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 rope a dope part of it, where it's essentially how painfully obvious what the what what the um you know what the what the what the you know, rope a dope is in this situation, which is essentially okay. We just we don't have a game with any story for you. We're just going to keep sending, you know, giving you giving you com- cosmetics and content. And the thing about it, I think a lot of times what happens with those sorts of games is they're just pure. They're just meant to sort of be pure gameplay, no story, just enough. You know, a, a world is to keep you interested, to continue to keep playing, and to keep wanting to put stuff on your characters. Yeah. Same way baseball doesn't have to have a story. It, it kind of almost turns into an activity slash sport. Exactly. So that's what they're they're sort of going for. It's essentially like it's it's that same sort of quarter munching idea where they're going to try to keep squeezing you for money for whatever way they can. You know, they get you, they put a nice hat out for you and all that stuff. I mean, and, it's, it's only 99 cents. And then, you know, uh, sure. Oh, that's only yeah. 99 cents. Exactly. And You're the thing is, like, they've, they've proven that, and, and, and in general, they've proven that this model has worked. I mean, you know, not to, not, you know, to bring up old school PlayStation Home, one of the things that how that thing was uh, lasted for as long as it did is because people were just buying bullshit um, um, cosmetics for their character, for their little dumb apartments, things yeah. that they didn't even own. You know? <laughs> Look at that, all that money was wasted when they shut the fucking servers down, you know? Well, at that point, at that, but that the point that they shut the damn thing down is it really didn't matter anymore. They didn't need didn't need to keep it. The PlayStation uh, um, was it four was all, was coming up soon anyway. So why keep that thing open? Yeah, you know? rest in peace to the digital hip hop gamer belt, man. Yeah, <laughs> but again, like it's, I think that that's the, the I think that that we see the rope a dope portion of it, and then it just is like, oh, this is kind of gross. But at the same time, it's like, what's it? Is it any different than what we were were doing in the past? Games that are just pure gameplay meant to steal your money. Yeah, no, you're right about that. You know, it's just more, a little bit more transparent now what it is. Oh yeah, it, it totally is. 
But, but the thing is that, yeah. but you can see why these companies want to invest in them because they don't need to, you know, if you're not having to develop a, a you know, develop a, what is it, a, a plot to your game and you're just thinking about what things can we do that are cool. Like, hey, they shoot, they jump, you know, here's the arena. Yeah, no, you're right. They don't really have to put too much work into that. It's just like, that here, here's an arena, go kill yourselves, you know. You know what this reminds me of? What? G.I. Joe. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. just there's no, Explain. no real story thinly pulled together um, just to sell you toys and crap. The only difference is now the toys and crap are digital. Mm -hmm. I thought you said crack yeah, first. Stories. Like, <laughs> <laughs> stories. Zartan, I understood he was coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was, the whole thing was built as just uh, a segue to keep oh, it. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, all, the, all those cartoons from the 80s were oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Same mechanism, man. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily less transparent as much as we're older and can see it. Maybe. I mean, think about it. Well, Why do you think they, they killed off all the Generation 1 Transformers? That is only Generation 2, you know? There you go. <laughs> oh, and uh, I don't know if you heard it. It's all connected with this. Uh, it, they announced uh, those, they showed those images for the Masters of the Universe, the new animated series oh, coming on Netflix. Shit. That looks hype. Awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, really and, and Mattel already showed a lineup of all the toys. Of course. <laughs> they got to sell yeah, all the toys. So, so I'm saying. So it's like, I'm just go. glad they didn't go the she route, you know? Mm. She's coming. You know she's coming. No, but I'm you talking about you've seen her cartoon. That shit looks. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. It's the, the same thing. Netflix. It's not any better. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but no, I, I think you're right about that. But again, these companies are just trying to, you know, because they see what's going on with the mobile market. Um, and I should state this, right? When you know, when you hear stories like uh, video games is the highest grossing form of entertainment out there, it's true. But you know where most of that money's coming from? Mobile games. You know, so yeah. they want that. The the big publishers want that piece of the pie. So they're trying. And think about it, you know, look at the Japanese side, right? Konami, Swerve, Enix, they make a shit ton of money off of mobile games. So you think these American companies don't want the same deal? They do. You know, so they're going to try their best, man. But it's just how they do it. Got to be careful. Look what happened with Battlefront 2, you know? Got to be careful how you do it. That's all. Um, but it, I, I think, again, Ubisoft walked back to statement a little bit, but... Ah man, that's a damn shame. Now we're gonna we're gonna give us a splinter cell. It'll just be a fucking mobile game instead. It's some gotcha yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, and then that's the whole thing. They want to walk it back, but I think they were on point. With what they were trying to say is that we are going to really push hard in that market, and that's what they're gonna do. If they could say, "Oh no, we're gonna see." Adam, say that again. Next cut, showcase. Say that again. You cut out. Oh, when they when you see their next showcase, we'll probably see another five or six games that they're gonna yeah. announce that are just gonna be mobile. Yeah, I can see that. What happened to that that uh, bike game? Remember that bike game that they showed off? Trials. Trials. No, it wasn't. It wasn't trials. It was actual bicycles. Like they were going downhill and stuff like that. And it, you can. They showed a, a bunch of people. It's going to be a. I think I didn't read this shit. No, 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 no. It, they showed a bunch of other bikers, and I'm like, oh yeah, you and your friend mountain and go down and it's like dirt bikes and stuff and this whole thing it looked really cool and that didn't come out and i'm wondering if they would decide you know what this will make a better mobile game i'll find it 